Hey guys, so it is Saturday, so I'm going shopping a day late, and that's because yesterday I had the worst migraine ever. I woke up and I had a bit of a headache, I tried to get on with dinner, put my steak in the slow cooker, and then by the afternoon I was in bed, and I was in bed right up until Danny come home from work, so that's why my shopping haul is a day late, it's because I was just too poorly yesterday. Um, I'm really lucky that Cameron was home, you know, 14, he looked after his little brothers and made them lunch and looked after me, he even cleared up my sick, love his little soul. So yeah, I was I was knocked out yesterday. So today, we're going shopping later, so let me just run through my meal plan with you for next week. So Monday we're having potato and leek pie, Tuesday sausage and pasta, Wednesday I have a pork loin in the freezer that I want to use up. We don't tend to eat a lot of pork, it's not one of our favourites. Um, but I'm going to look on Pinterest and see if I can't do something in the slow cooker with that. Thursday, we're just going to have spaghetti bolognese. Friday, I've put barbecue with a question mark. Um, you never know with the weather this time of the year. So I think I might just get barbecue food and then just leave it in the freezer. That way, if spontaneously we want a barbecue, the food's there. Because I think when you meal plan ahead, you don't take into account if the weather's really, really hot, you might want a barbecue rather than what you've picked out. Does that make sense? I think this time of the year, I'm definitely a bit more easier on the meal plan, I don't follow it exact. So then Saturday I've got down salmon, it's actually Danny's birthday on Saturday, so he got to choose what he would like for his dinner and he picked salmon. And then Sunday I put down roast, but again, it could end up in a barbecue. Hey guys, so I'm back from shopping and it's a big one. This is what happens when you go shopping when you're hungry. So yeah, let me show you how much I've spent. I spent a total of 22 and 49 so I've got two lots of spaghetti, so easy cook long grain rice, two lots of pasta, three loaves of bread, you put this bit at the end but I ran out of space so two lots of potatoes, two lots of carrots, cucumber, some white seedless grapes, some strawberries, two lots of mixed bell peppers, a lettuce, some bananas, some onions, a broccoli, some salad tomatoes. I usually get cherry tomatoes but they didn't have any in so these will do. I got some big mushrooms. This was part of their meat super six offers so it's a paprika and chilli chicken crowns so that'll go in the freezer and be a nice dinner. I got some bacon because it's Father's Day tomorrow and I want to do Danny like um, a fry up for breakfast so I picked up some bacon and things like that. Two lots of minced beef and then I got the salmon for Danny's birthday. This is really expensive, I think it's like 4 99 for a pack of two so you know that's like 15 quid's worth of salmon but when you think if we were to go out for a meal it would be a lot more than that so it may be a, a pricey purchase, but when you think how much it is to cook at home in comparison to how much it is to have a treat and go out, this is definitely the better option. So like I said, I kind of want to have some barbecue food in for those spontaneous barbecues. So I got some kebabs, some chicken thighs, and some chicken wings, two lots of quarter pound burgers, three lots of sausages, one for tomorrow's fry up and two that I'll stick in the freezer for our tomato and pasta dinner. Some cheddar. Three lots of pepperoni for the boys pack up. I got some chunky oven chips. I don't normally buy food like this but I've got steak in the fridge that we're having for dinner so I just thought chips would just be a nice change for us. A bit of a treat. I got some hash browns. Some German salami some honey roast ham and some breaded ham, some cheese sticks, I've got the kids some lollies, and some yoghurts, some hummus, some burger slices and i got some sorbet, oh I love sorbet ice cream, especially lemon, so I need to hurry up and record this like a six up in the freezer. Danny picked up his trifle, I think last week they didn't have it in so he's really happy to get it this week. More ice pops for the kids, milk and some orange juice, 
two lots of olive oil because I'm pretty much out and I like to have one in use and one for spare but they don't always have it in so when I have it in I like to stock it up so when I'm done with that one I'll be back to my one in use and one for spare tin of baked beans for tomorrow some tomato ketchup and some juice so this one is um, strawberry and apple some orange and some lemon I like lemon some biscuits I've always loved their biscuits some cream crackers I got my cider I love cider especially this time of the year it's so refreshing and Danny got his spiced rum and cola three lots of breakfasts some bruschetta is that how you say it garlic and parsley that looks so good again I was just hungry so some multi-pack crisps and I already tucked into these red pepper and cheddar corn tortillas and these are so good literally yeah, half a bag on my home with the boys help of course so yeah that's what I picked up at Aldi's today so here's a look at next week's special buyers magazine so I have camping things in and Father's Day things in although that doesn't give you much time to buy it because it's tomorrow You know that dog in the background. That looks cool. Look at that boom box. some recipes and their amazing meat offers got onion rings on meat and their fruit and veg hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one take care bye